All right, as I mentioned in the last episode, I got the spring to fix my yellow boy. So we're gonna put that in today. Hopefully, you'll all be able to see how this comes apart and how it all goes back together. But I'm definitely not a gunsmith. So I've changed these springs before, so it should go pretty smooth. But we'll see how it is with working around this camera. I've mounted my GoPro onto the workbench with, with kind of a first person perspective. I might also throw in some footage from my aim cams, depending on how things go. I'd much rather be out on the range using them instead of working on them. But if all goes well, we'll be able to do that at the end of this episode. Without any further ado, let's tackle this project. To the powers that be at YouTube. Before you demonetize this video, consider the following. It isn't showing any modification of a firearm, nor is it promoting the sale or manufacture of any firearm. This episode is just showing how to replace a broken or worn out spring on a lever action rifle. So the first step is pretty simple. Remove the two screws that hold the buttstock onto the frame. Once those screws are out, a little wiggle and a little tug should free up the butt stock. And then just remove the screw that holds the spring in place. That was the easy part. Now you have a non-functioning rifle and a new spring. The fun part is just ahead. Okay, so there's a little, like a hangy down thing there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's shaped sort of like a T. Can you see it up in there? Okay, so this has to grab that T I've got it upside down so that the T will kind of hang down because once it's flipped over, that's attached to the T, the screw goes down and that spring gives it tension. I don't know if I'll be able to hold it in a position. You guys will be able to see me grab it, but we will see. Okay, let's try it up here. Okay, I got it. I had to do it off camera. Now it's just a matter of holding it there and <laughs> hope it stays while putting the screw in place. I don't know. We'll see. It, it wasn't hard to grab once I got off camera and I could get in a position. I, I just couldn't hold it. I think we got it though. It feels like it's still attached. So, can you see up in there? If it's attached, you'll see it. So it's operating just fine. Well, that doesn't seem like a strong strike, but we can tighten that up right here. The tighter that screw is, the more force it takes to cock the hammer which in turn transfers more of an impact to the primer when the trigger is pulled. Finding a happy medium of easy to cock and still setting off primers is ultimately what you want. If you are enjoying today's episode, please hit that like button and share a link to this video with someone you think might need to see it. Also, please consider supporting the channel and content like this at www.buymeacoffee.com slash Jedi TV. Okay, with that done, let's 
take it out onto the range and see if it'll shoot. We'll take my Great Western revolvers with us. And my SKD shotgun. And a backup rifle, you know, just in case. First things first, we'll give it a test run with some old smokeless ammo that I had lying around. There's very little chance of me using that smokeless 4440 for anything else. And now, main match time. All right, by golly, let her back. Hey, uh oh. Ah. Damn. Damn. That's gonna eat up some time. I swear I fixed this thing. Problem. Yeah, <laughs> pick it to someone more qualified, huh? You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if I'll use this stage on Jedi TV. Pre-dent your primers. <laughs> it, ran, you it. Twice. <laughs> it ran fine. You need to pre-dent your primers. When I tested it, it worked fine. Are Thank you blocking my shot? shot? Well, that didn't work out as planned, but I figured all I needed was a little twist to the spring screw to increase the tension and hit those primers a little harder. And with that done, we're ready to hit the second stage of the day and hopefully make up for some of that lost time. <laughs> I heard you the first three times. I was, I was ignoring you. I just wanted to see your shiny face. Yeah, right? We break the 170 and the camera and the No. Oh, yeah, we all remember. Remember when, when uh, at a certain time the major networks would go off? And they'd had that, what was it, like an uh -huh. Indian yeah, thing? Yeah. Test pattern. Test so pattern. on Jedi TV, <laughs> yeah. you just see a test pattern. Technical difficulty, that pattern, that, that <laughs> screenshot, and then a picture of the, a hole right through his camera. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Just kidding. All right. Foot in the box. Right foot in hand. Shotgun on the table. Just like you did. Just like you did. This one is a two. You're going to start on outside target, outside tombstone. Two on an outside tombstone. And then one, two, three across, two on the other outside tombstone, then one, two, three across. I'm sure that's got a name for a sweep or some sort. Two, three, four, it's five, the lawbreaker three, sweep. Four, yeah, cascade goes, right. ghost rider sweep, ghost rider shuffle. Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Oh yep. So it is shotgun, just like you did. Pistol, same deal. Twixt the horse and the bucket, anywhere you want to be. And again, that's two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three. Can we move up as close as you did when you shot your pistol? <laughs> yes, you can. I didn't see any feet on my score. I'll run clock. Somebody ran the book. The, the bo he did it. He did it. You got it. All right, smash that like button. Stand by. Well, how happy am I? Well, there you have it. Everything seems to be working as it should. Let's take a look at one more stage today. If you all want to see the rest of the stages from today's match, head over to Instagram and follow both at Jedi Gunfighter and at Jedi TV 
on that platform. So start with shotgun, knock down those two and those two, sweep the eight targets in the back, two on the cowboy with the rifle, then with the pistols, dump all 10 rounds on that center cowboy. Seemed simple enough. All right, don't forget to subscribe. Stand by. for you though. We shot across this way. Did you start on the outside over here? So the instructions were pretty simple. Sweep the eight targets in the back and then put two rounds on the center cowboy. But you had to sweep the eight targets in the back. That was the key. I'm gonna blame my pee on the fact that I had to pee. All right, that's better. You guys make sure to give me a big old thumbs up by smashing that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your last day of shooting went. And make sure you're subscribed so you see my next adventure. I'm Jed. That's Appy. This is Jedi TV. And I'll see you in some other place in some other time.